Hello there folks and welcome back to Species. This time we're continuing to take a look at our water creatures. We saw a little bit of them last time but this time we definitely want to uh, get a proper ecosystem going. So we're going to start off in the new world with uh, new creatures and we are going to let it run on land for a while and then slowly raise the water levels and see if some creatures want to stay in the water. I think we're going to start with a relatively flat map here, and uh, yeah, because uh, the flatter it is, it's not super flat, but uh, the flatter it is, you know, the more the water makes an impact and the more we can cover with water. If this is the first time you're watching Species, I recommend going back to the first episode in this series, links probably down below in the description. As well as looking up uh, some other videos of mine, I've played this game for quite a while, so uh, you know you can see all the different patches and what species is all about. Basically, it's a uh, artificial life, real evolution simulator. Uh, you spawn these creatures, digital creatures, and they slowly, as you depending on the parameters you set, they evolve live on camera with the uh, clay diagrams, with uh, satellite maps and you can shape them as you wish, you can intervene as well. This time, if, just to make sure that our creatures don't die out here, we're gonna make sure that uh, we have a creature in the nursery. The nursery takes care of creatures, makes sure they, they don't die out, and then we can also go ahead and create a whole new species if we want, uh, and move them towards something. We're gonna increase the radiation here just for fun. Um, maybe, you know, I don't know, five times the background radiation should be enough, and uh, then we will watch the world evolve. Alright, the world crashed, so we had to start a new map. This map looks uh, like this. We've got the nursery right here in the middle. Not as flat, but should be fine. We are going to set a rover to start killing... I don't know, it reached the cap of... I had it, my cap at like 2,000 creatures, and then I just could not pause. Uh, but yeah, we're going to add a kill when the population's higher than, I don't know, 700? That sounds pretty okay. Uh, so then we'll make sure they survive and flourish. And as before, we are going to kidnap a member here into our nursery. I think what I'm predicting is actually happening here. You'll see some individuals are going out into the water in the shallows and they might or might not flourish there they might or might not flourish in the lake eventually and it's those that once the once the water starts rising that uh, it's those that will survive in this uh, new environment all right so things are happening but not really so I'm impatient maybe that's my problem we're gonna start raising the water just ever so slightly populations Booming, that's fantastic, but... Oh, whoa, we do have some underwater shit going on there. That's good. I hope the rover out there is not the killing one. In fact, I might... Uh, hmm. Should we set it to kill other types of creatures? We crashed again there. So we had to go back a while, but the autosave was right there, so we made the same changes. And let's try to actually go ahead and uh, take a look at the underwater world here. Come on, zoom in for me, please. Let's take a look at the wonderful world that's happening down here. Oh wow, look at that. Wonderful. Yes, they are actually flourishing, and it's almost like they're walking underwater, which is different. We've seen swimming creatures, but these are like underwater walking creatures, almost like, uh, not crabs, but, uh, yeah, crabs are, can live underwater, right? Yeah. We'll say they're, yeah, no, this, I might be stupid. I might be completely wrong here, but you know what I mean. You know, I'm one of the unluckiest, uh, YouTubers in the world. Every time I start recording there's always someone who decides either to drill through my wall uh, or play a really loud music and it's not even late you know it's not even party time I don't know what the hell they're doing I was going to raise the water level slowly but seems like things are working out pretty okay so we're gonna be a little bit more drastic and uh, hope that 
this group of creatures here actually flourishes. I mean, someone will survive this, right? Let's be even more dramatic and raise it entirely here. Oh, what's happening? Come on. We'll raise it to, like, two. This, the entire map is now completely underwater. Aside from... No, yeah, it's entirely underwater. There's nothing protruding. Maybe almost this? No. That's dead. All right. Uh, and we can see that there are things surviving and flourishing down there. We we'll take a look at the clay diagram. I've had quite a bit of branching. And we have three main uh, groups here. Web of life, can't really see much. Population has definitely gone down here as we lowered the, uh, or raised the water levels. And now it's exploding again. Our strategy definitely seems to have worked. I mean, there are creatures everywhere. And this map is huge, so I don't even know how we're supposed to get around. I mean, of course, there is the, the camera, and we can click on the map. No, we can't. Not in this camera mode, right. Uh, but as you see there, there are creatures all over the place. We might drive a rover around. That might be more fun. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Alright, so I select the rover to drive it, and then I don't even know what to do, because as you accelerate, it... Uh, it like rises. So how do I? S how can I sink further than this? Maybe this is the limit. That'd be unfortunate. Are there submarines? There should be submarines. This is really unfortunate. Is there a drive mode? None. So how do I drive then? Direct. Okay. No, that's not what I meant. Indirect. What? No, direct. Come on. Like that? How to sync? Control? Shift? I have no idea. Very strange. If uh, if someone does know, please let me know in the comments. It really helped me out quite a bit. Cuz this uh, it does seem like it stops at this depth right here. Oh, it's just so nice looking at things growing. I mean, it's almost... Al almost. It's not really, but almost as fun or more fun than watching the creatures. Just watching plants grow here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, and look at the cute things. Just, they're not even swimming. I mean, I don't know what they're doing. They're, yeah, they're just crawling along the uh, seabed. I was like, it's going to take forever, you know, moving around in this camera mode, but I realized you can actually shift, uh, and then you can move much faster in this in this mode here. Uh, so, yeah, there we go. We have... Those are still walking. I, I want to swim the swimmy swims. Let's go to normal speed so we can see them in their natural... Oh, there's the swimmy swims. Are those fins, or do you still have arms? No, you have a tail thing. You move almost like a sperm. Sorry, that wasn't very child-friendly. Although, you know, it's a natural thing, so... Maybe I meant sperm whale, of course. I totally meant sperm whale. It can take quite a while for things to change here. You know what, just to, to have some variation, I think we might drop the temperature. I think the difference in temperature like the, the, is quite large. I'm afraid that we know started a max mass extinction event and we definitely have oh seems like a few are surviving though but there's definitely some uh, extinction going on uh yeah i think they'll make it i mean if you look at the population history here i think we lowered the temperatures no yeah probably s no i mean yeah, that, that change in population wasn't actually as drastic as I was expecting. Uh, so we'll have to see. Clay diagram-wise, we're all the way down here now. In terms of what we've done before, though, and because we've played Species for many years now, and, uh, you know, two hours of simulation is nothing. Uh, we've done, like, 16, 24... At some point we even have two... We were, like, on day two or three or something. Uh, so it's definitely nothing new to us. Things can change a lot. 
it's always a lot of fun watching. Unfortunately, like I love I love the update, of course, but uh, this uh, satellite map here of when it's just water is kind of sad. I mean, I can see where it's uh, slightly deeper, I guess, and maybe that's the point. Uh, or maybe that is that the shallower? No, this must be the shallower part in the dark, the deeper, of course. Uh, but you know, the height variation is—it's too dark. I can't really distinguish anything from anything. And the camera mode—I mean, if I shift to the other one, it's not very good. Like it, yeah. The zoom, like I can't see anything from here. And if I'm here, it doesn't really make any difference from the other camera mode. So. Hmm, I think there might still be some improvements to be made there. Just a suggestion, of course. Still love your game. I should also say that, of course, not only do I have a press copy, but by having a press copy, it should be quite clear that I am not actually the developer. Uh, being one of the most popular YouTubers, having played this game uh, over the years, a lot of people have confused me with the developer, and uh, at, some point, uh, at some point I even made a fan trailer for version 0.9, I believe, or 0.09, or whatever it was at the time. And, uh, yeah, of course, everyone thought I was the person developing Species, and over the years I've also gotten like, oh, what happens to Species? Please con continue making it. Not only the, the videos, of course, but the game, and I'm like, I'm sorry, but I... Uh, I mean, I only have... Uh, a little bit of contact with the main developers. I uh, I do not work on the game. I do. The, the, I mean, the only thing I get is a, a for now that I've gotten is a, a key from the developers. Uh, nothing else. I have no relation to them at all. But but all of that aside, let's take a look at just how the clay diagram is displaying our major species here. We have uh, this one. That one, I mean, they're still quite similar. I mean, they're all related from this branch on this side. Uh, they're starting to look like frogs, to be honest. Like frogs with little teeth. And I don't know about what, what kind of skin they have there. But yeah, they definitely have gills and they're herbivores on this side. On that side, we have anaerobic. Ooh, they, this one has feet. Alright. Uh, and, yeah, anu... Ana yeah, anaerobic. This one had gills somewhere. One of them. Uh, but they're all herbivores, I guess. The fertility is quite high. So, of course, they will not mind feeding from uh, the plentiful weed underwater. The weeds of uh, in the seabed. On the seabed? In the seabed? Of course, it's not in the seabed, but yeah. I don't know. Also, are they weeds? Like, they're not mangroves. Mangroves are the ones in uh, in swamps, right? The trees that uh, hang into sort of salt water, I believe. Uh, what am I thinking of? They must be... It's the the thing you... It's sushi, you know? Al algae, algae, but not really... Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Just ignore me. I'm rambling way too much. Anyway, we have gone over our time limit here. I know the episodes are short, but that's how we do it. Short and sweet. We will continue this save, hopefully, unless it crashes or corrupts, which it I don't think it will. Things are looking quite stable uh, in the next episode, and uh, I th I'm looking forward to seeing some variation. Maybe we'll play around with uh, some climate areas, maybe build some fences or whatnot. Uh, maybe we'll also play with the nursery, and I'll definitely try to take a look at uh, what the new update actually has installed other than, you know, uh, water creatures, so that we can take a closer look at that. In the meantime, this has been Game Capture, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget to share with your friends, it really helps me out a lot. I'll see you later. Farewell.